Well, federal funding in the United States is the way the vast majority of biomedical research, in fact, biological research, happens. So the essence of science is, is to be open and open to criticism and open to verification. And the biomedical science community in the United States largely thrives in this way because federal money goes into it. And this is something that clearly Congress um, has decided year after year is something well worth while and the feedback from from people in surveys and the American people you know is is that there's strong support that this kind of research is is good and that f they want f federal that is to say public monies to go into it so what's the danger uh, we've heard occasionally statements well why not just have all embryonic stem cell research done in the private sector okay well the first thing is that federal research can be done under proper um, appropriate regulations and in fact scientists recognize that regulations are important if there's kinds of science that's done that could lead to abuses and I'll just give you a very simple example in embryonic stem cell research. Embryonic stem cell research if new stem cell lines are going to be derived from new blastocysts as opposed to those um, discarded from in vitro fertilization clinics of which there's a large number but for some purposes, it makes sense to make new ones. And that means getting in the current basic science situation right now, getting an egg from a woman donor. And that itself is something that needs to be done with appropriate ethical guidelines. And there are guidelines in place, but they need to be transparently applied. Now, interestingly, in the private sector, none of this needs to be um, uh, done. In fact, the private sector has chosen to impose regulations like those that would be imposed on federal funding uh, on themselves because they realize it is good to conduct the research in this way. But in fact, there is no compulsion necessarily. And so you have an opaqueness to private sector research. And I'm just giving one example, which is not going to exist in federally funded research, which is by definition open access research and will be done in ways that are with appropriate regulations. So I think that that's one aspect. And the other reason why it's very important, again, contrasting with what is possible in the private sector, which is not to say it necessarily has to happen, but in the private sector, there is no compulsion to describe how the experimental work was done. And sometimes there are indeed proprietary reasons why, f why companies don't want to share this information. Now, by definition, that sets up a situation where the work can't be verified. And one of the essences of good scientific research is having verifiable experiments that can be verified independently. So again, the opaqueness that is possible and sometimes commercially imposed on privately funded research is very antithetical to the spirit of scientific research, which involves openly um, making experimental information available so it can be scrutinized and verified.